Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is a really odd choice to make a video game on, because unlike most of the other TV quiz shows or game shows that you play, it's you doing something versus other people. But with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, it's you versus yourself to claim a prize pot. Now obviously in a computer game, there is no end prize pot available. So it's just you answering 15 questions and seeing whether or not you get, how many do you get right. Now there's some interest in that, but it's a very limited game mode for you to then base a full priced computer game on, which is blatantly playing for the license, not necessarily the content that's within. But for not the very first time, because there was ones in earlier consoles that were released, we have another Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game, which has just been released on PC following a console release at the end of last year. The best thing that I can say about Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is that what it has done right is manage repeat questions. And that's because it's pulling from a pool of several thousand questions, and because it's not related by topic or anything like that, it's just pulling questions at random and it seems to notice when it's been done for a while and then doesn't repeat them. During the couple of hours that I've played this game, I didn't have any repeats, and that's something that I cannot say for almost every single other quiz game that I have played in the last three to four years, with the exception of its quiz time, which I've got on uh, PlayStation 4. Every other quiz game has a really poor way of dealing with repeat questions, and that means that the game has longevity if you enjoy answering trivia quizzes. Well, let's go to the next question, if you don't mind. Who's in the host place? Yes. Where the game then does fall down is in almost every other aspect of its presentation and the way how it plays. So the first thing that I would say is that if you're playing in single player mode, be prepared for some really janky presentation. Um, I don't know who the presenter is, um, but they have made the presenter the most deadpan, dead-eyed, like object going so he'll say something then he'll like really creepily like goosebumps uh, puppets turn to the camera and then just be like dead-eyed and then occasionally his mouth might like go rap, 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 and move a little bit and then it will like zoom pan to the next person it's really creepy and awkward and stilted um and the um repetition of what characters say in the voice acting happens immediately they've all got about five phrases each um, and it gets very old very quickly the other problem is that um, you have to press for an answer and then press again for a final answer um, but if you know the answer if you're just going to do a double hit because you're, you're going ahead with it all of the voice acting triggers all over the top of itself so it just becomes like a chatting over each other mess but it won't continue with the game until they've all finished saying what they're saying so you're just like ah help me it's such a mess um add to that the fact that the studio setting and the way how everything's set up looks like it's just been stolen from a playstation 2 era game um and that's a shame and it's just one environment there's about i think there's eight different characters you can choose from but uh, unlike say I'm going to hark back to the weakest link on PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. There's no bespoke uh, interactions. They just have a couple of different lines to say. And it's like someone's gone round the uh, race and gender pool and just gone, I'll have one of each, please, just to cover their bases. And it's really just low effort. Where it then tries to do something different is in the multiplayer modes. Um, you can go cooperatively, which feels a bit weird, because it then asks you to pass the controller around and each person press a button to confirm that they agree with the answer you're giving, which just feels elongated and pointless. It's exactly the same as playing single player mode, except you're just all pressing a button together. There is then a multiplayer mode, which basically means that as soon as you get a question wrong, you're eliminated from the experience and there's no lifelines to be had. Um, and what happens is you have the deadpan presenter kind of look at you dead-eyed in the, in the camera and then it kind of transitions and swaps your character in and out. And then they go, oh, I'm not sure. I think it's A. Um, and then it will pan back to the presenter. And if you get it right, then the next one will come in. It's clunky. It's awkward. It doesn't feel like a proper game mode either. Um, but at least it means that it's competitive. You can also take the game online. There was no one online for me to play with. Um, and it 
just kind of hung there waiting for a game to be loaded in. Um, I couldn't then exit out of the matchmaking properly. I had to control alt delete to get out of the game on the PC version. I don't think that should be proper. And there was also um, what happens is that when you w win some earnings, it converts it into in-game money, which you can then buy additional question categories to be added into the mix. Now, questions are categorized into categories and you can turn some on and off. Um, but the questions that it was adding in, like there's a Doctor Who selection. And I was like, hmm, spot the TV crossovers. But I wouldn't want like 500 Doctor Who questions thrown into the rest of everything else that's going on. But it doesn't tell you how many questions are in the pot. Um, and it's quite a like a tiny grind to get all of those question categories unlocked. Um, so yeah, just a really weird stilted experience. There was no call for this game. There was no need for this game. You could have made a better quiz game outside of this setting. And what I find is, um, and with this TV show more than any other show that I've come across so far, the show format limits the game experience to make it poor. And you can't really, if you break out of that format, it's then not who wants to be a millionaire, which then causes a problem for the license, which means that the game can't then be better. So yeah, just a rule to anyone that's going to look at this license in the future, don't do it. <laughs> Make a proper quiz game that's more interactive, more involved and more fun and engaging for a player from a gameplay perspective not trying to recreate a show format that you can't because the jeopardy is in the prize money not the show format. So a written review will be over on highplanegames.com very shortly. It's a kind of a void on this one unless you're an absolute trivia fiend but in that case you should have all the other games which do it much much better already. Take care all. Bye bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash network. Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.